welcome to my youtube channel i am vasant testai from government first aid college punta in this video i am going to explain about the geometrical optics this is prescribed by carnatic university darwar for bsc third semester here we are going to explain about how to find the focal point how to find the sipal points and nodal points let us learn how to locate the first principal point from the first lens that is you have to find the position of the first principal point let us take a lens l1 of focal lens small at the point lens l2 of focal lens small at the point these two lenses are separated by distance small at the b this is the principal axis and pq is the incident light the incident light the incident light incident at height h1 above the principal axis and it refracts along qr from the first lens and this refracted light from the second lens acts as incident light for the second lens and this incident at height h2 above the principal axis and rs is the refracted light from the lens l2 here this is the lens system it is separated by a distance d it is the incident light on the lens system and rs is the emergent light for the lens system and we know this is the position of the first focal point and the plane passing through the first focal point and perpendicular to principal axis is called first focal plane and we have to extrapolate the incident light in the forward direction emergent light in the backward direction to meet at the point h1 at the point h1 and perpendicular to principal axis at the right plane this is the plane which is passing through h1 and perpendicular to principal axis it cuts the principal axis at point c1 and the distance between f1 and p1 is called equivalent focal length of the lens system and here we have to locate the position of this first principal point from the lens l1 it is denoted by the letter alpha let us derive the relation for alpha here now to take the similar triangles uh, the first one is h1 p1 f1 and q l1 f1 are the similar triangles in the similar triangles the ratio of q l1 divided by h1 p1 here q l1 divided by h1 p1 is equal to f1 l1 divided by f1 p1 here f1 l1 is f1 l1 divided by f1 p1 here the value of q l1 the value of q l1 is h1 the value of h1 p1 the value of h1 p1 is h2 because the height rn2 is equal to height h1 p1 for rn2 is equal to h1 p1 its value is h2 
the power q l1 by h1 q1 is nothing but the ratio of h1 by h2 for here h1 by h2 is equals to how to find the length f1 l1 that is f1 l1 we can write the length f1 l1 as f1 p1 minus l1 p1 so therefore here f1 l1 equals to f1 p1 minus f1 for f1 l1 is equals to here f1 p1 minus l1 p1 for now here h1 by h3 is equals to because here f1 by p1 divided by f1 by p1 we get cancel minus l1 by p1 divided by f1 p1 therefore h1 by h3 is equals to 1 minus l1 p1 divided by f1 p1 here h1 by h2 is equals to 1 minus here l1 p1 l1 p1 is nothing but the distance of first principal point from the lens l1 this, this is the distance alpha so if i have to substitute the value of l1 p1 as alpha and the distance between f1 p1 is equivalent for the length f therefore h1 by h3 is equals to 1 minus alpha by f so by Using these two similar triangles, we we'll find the value of f1 by x is equals to 1 minus alpha by f. Now, in the previous video, I have explained you how to find the value of h1 by h2. In order to find the equivalent focal length of the two lenses, which are separated by distance d. In that case, the value of h1 by h2 is equals to 1 minus d by f2. So better you watch my previous videos how to find the value of h1 by h2 therefore for time being remember we know that h1 by h3 is equal to 1 minus d by f2 therefore the value of h1 by h2 and h1 by h2 you have to equate them then 1 minus alpha by f is equal to 1 minus d by f2 here 1 get Cancel it. We get here that is alpha by f is equal to d by f2. So for alpha is equal to f into d divided by f2. Now this is the alpha. This alpha is equal to. We have taken this alpha as a positive because p1 is on the right side of the L1 the position of the p1 is on the right side which is positive so alpha is equals to f t divided by f2 now to substitute the value of equivalent focal length of the two lenses l1 and l2 are focal lengths f1 and f2 respectively which are separated by distance d so for substitute the value that is d by f2 into capital f values f1 f2 divided by f1 plus f2 minus t here f2 get Cancel. That's why we get alpha is equal to d f1 divided by f1 plus f2 minus p. Already I have told you l1 and p1 is positive because p1 lies at right side of l1. If alpha is positive, and remember this formula: alpha is equal to f into d divided by f2. Here you have to write the focal length of the second lens. Okay? Here you have to write the focal length of the second lens. That is the position of the P1 from the lens L1. Alpha is equal to equivalent focal length into separation between the two lenses divided by focal length of the second lens. You are finding the position of the first principal point. And here you have to write the focal length of the second lens. Now, let us find the position of the first focal point. This is the F1. I find the position of the first focal point F1 from the first lens L1. Here, this is on the left side of the lens L1. Therefore, this is on the negative side. Therefore, F1 is on the left side. Let us derive the relation here. We find the value of F1 and 1. 
because f1 l1 is equals to f1 p1 minus l1 p1 in the previous derivation also we have taken f1 l1 as f1 p1 minus l1 p1 that equation have to consider as a first equation then here the l1 p1 already we know the value of the l1 p1 where l1 p1 value is already i have told you it is f into d divided by f2 so this we have derived in the previous slide so it is l1 p1 is equals to alpha that is f d divided by f2 and f1 p1 we know the distance between f1 p1 is equivalent to the length for f1 p1 is equals to f from equation 1 you have to substitute the equation that is you have to substitute the value of f1 p1 and l1 p1 in the equation number 1 and the equation 1 becomes f1 l1 that's equals to f minus that is f1 p1 is l1 minus l1 p1 that is f3 divided by f2 you can take f common here that's what f1 l1 is equals to f1 minus p by f2 so this is the value of f1 l1 according to the diagram we are calculating or we are finding the distance of f1 l1 while calculating remember i have to write the distance f1 l1 that is from the, have to start from the left and i have to end on the right hand side that is f1 l1 this one is equals to f1 p1 minus l1 p1 otherwise it is difficult to derive the relation remember you have to take all the lengths you have to start finding the length from the left and then end to the right hand side so therefore our the length f1 l1 this is the value of the f1 l1 but here you have to find the position of the f1 from l1 f1 here the distance is now l1 f1 i have to find the distance of first focal point f1 from the lens l1 therefore we have to find the distance l1 f1 here therefore l1 f1 is nothing but the negative of l1 f1 l1 therefore l1 f1 is equals to negative of f1 l1 that's why l1 f1 is equals to I put a negative sign here minus f into 1 minus p by f2 in this case also here let's substitute the value of focal length of the second lens that is l1 f1 that is position of the first focal point from lens l1 is given by equals to minus f into 1 minus b by f2 Now let us find the position of the second principal point from the second lens L2. I have locate the second principal point from the second lens. So I have to take the same lens system of lens L1 of focal lens F1, second lens of lens L2 of focal lens small letter F2, which are separated by the small letter distance D, the principal axis. And P Q is the incident light, which is incident at height h1 above the principal axis. It refracts along q r and it is, it is a refracted light from the first lens and q r at the incident light for the second lens. This is incident at height h2 above the principal axis. And it refracts along RF2, where F2 is the second focal point. And second focal point, we have to draw the plane passing through F2 and perpendicular to the principal axis. We get focal plane, there is a second focal plane. And extra plane RF2 in the backward direction. And PQ in the forward direction, they meet at the point H2, at the point H2, 
and to draw a plane which is perpendicular to the principal axis that plane is called principal plane that principal plane cuts the principal axis at point p2 it's called second principal point and we know the distance between p2 f3 is equivalent focal length now to find the distance of the second principal point p2 to find the position of the second principal point p2 from the lens L2 is nothing but the beta. I have to find the position of the P2 from the lens L2. This is the length theta. Now let us derive the relation here. Now to derive the relation, let us take the two similar triangles. Uh, the first triangle is H2, P2, F2 and R, L2, F2, this is H2, P2, F2 and R L2 by F2. If they are the similar triangles, then the ratio of, of R L2 divided by H2, P2, that's equals to the ratio of R L2 by H2, P2, that's equals to L2, F2 divided by P2, F2. Now to write the value of RL2, value of RL2 is H2, the value of H2, P2 is equals to the length QL1, that is H2, P2 is also H1. Therefore, RL2 is H2, H2, P2 is H1, to the value H2 by H1, uh, H2 by H1 is equals to not find the value of L2, F2. We can write the distance L2, F2 as P2, F2 minus L2, F2. Remember how to measure all the distances from left to right. Therefore, here L2, F2 is equal to P2, F2 minus L2. For P2, F2 minus P2, L2. Now, you have to multiply by P2, so you divided by P2F2 here, therefore P2F2 divided by P2F2 get cancelled, minus P2L2 divided by P2F2, therefore H2 by H1 equals to 1 minus P2L2 divided by P2F1, therefore H2 by H1 is equal to minus P2L2, substitute the value of P2F2, what is the value of P2F2, P2F2 is equivalent focal length f therefore now write this value and we know the value the ratio of h2 by h1 is equals to 1 minus p by 1 remember the value of the ratio of h1 by h2 is equals to 1 minus p by h2 but here the ratio of h2 by h1 is 1 minus p by f1 so substitute the correct formula here. In the previous slide, we have taken h1 by h2 is equals to 1 minus v by f2, but here we have taken h2 by h1 is equals to 1 minus v by f1. Now, this is the value we find from the diagram, and this one we find from the diagram, but I have explained you in my previous video how to find the value of x2 by x1 here. So we have the two equations for x2 by x1. I have equated them. We get 1 minus x2 by x1 is equal to 1 minus p2 l2 by f is equal to 1 minus p by f1. Here 1 get cancelled. We get and here the minus and minus with the positive sign here. So for P2 L2 divided by F is equals to D by F1. For P2 L2 is equals to F D divided by F1. Here the length P2 L2 is not beta. Here the length L2 P2 that is the position of F P2 from lens L2 is beta. P2 it is P2 L2 is not beta here. Remember. The length P2, this is the length P2 L2. 
not beta now the l2 p2 becomes beta that is the position of the p2 from lens l2 is beta therefore l2 p2 is equal to minus put a negative sign here that is p2 l2 is equal to minus l2 p2 therefore l2 p2 is equal to minus f d divided by f1 here we are calculating the value of second or position we are finding the position of the second principal point from the second lens but here you have to write formula as minus f d divided by focal length of the first lens and remember p2 is on the left side therefore to get a negative sign here In the previous derivation what happened p1 is on the right side therefore you get a positive value so for l2 p2 is equal to beta therefore so this is the value of the beta beta is equal to minus capital f d divided by f1 now substitute the value of the capital f the so capital f value is f1 f2 divided by f1 plus f2 minus d here f2 get cancelled if I get beta is equal to minus p f2 divided by f1 plus f2 minus d therefore l2 p2 value is negative because p2 lies at left side of l2 so you have to remember all these equations in order to solve the problems now this is the last one I have to find the or you have to locate this position of the second focal point f2 from the lens l2 so that is you have to find the distance l2 f2 that is position of the f2 from the lens l2 that for that one the distance of the second focal point from lens l2 is given by so you have to write the distance here the distance f2 right here l2 f2 is equal to p2 f2 minus p2 l2 and we know that is uh, let us find the length p2 l2 we are finding the value of it is according to the first equation l2 f2 is equal to p2 f2 minus p2 l2 now to find the value of p2 l2 here only p2 l2 not negative minus p2 l2 we are finding the value of only p2 l2 p2 l2 is nothing but negative of l2 p2 therefore the length p2 l2 is equal to minus l2 p2 that's equal to minus but substitute the value of l2 p2 what is l2 p2 here l2 p2 is nothing but the beta. Now we have to substitute the value of the beta here. This is the value of the beta. That is, this is actually minus beta. That is minus into the value of the beta. The value of the beta is minus Fd divided by F1. That's why I get a positive sign here. Fd divided by F1. And we know the value of P2, F2, P2, F2 is equal to equivalent focal length. Therefore, we have calculated the value of P2, L2 here, that is P2, L2 is F2, F, D divided by F1. The value of P2, F2 is equivalent focal length, capital F. Now substitute these values in equation number 1, we get that is L2, F2 is equal to F minus P2 L2 values F3 divided by F1. For K, the less common here, for L2 F2 is equal to the less into 1 minus P divided by F1. So, therefore, the F2 is the position of the second focal point in the lens L2. The formula is equal to F because F2 is on the right side, therefore we get a positive sign. It is capital F into 1 minus T divided by 4 and of the first 
lens. Now, let us find the position of the nodal points. Now remember, we are discussing about the two lenses L1 and L2 which are placed in the air medium. Therefore, the medium is same on both sides of the lens. That is, the, both the lenses are placed in air medium. You can place it in the oil or any liquid medium. The medium is same on both sides of the lens. Then nodal points, waste points are with the principal points. Therefore, here L1, P1, here L1, P1 is equal to L1, L, N1. These, here P1 and N1, they coincide. That's why here L1, P1 formula is, is equal to the formula for L1, N1. This is equal to F. D divided by F2. For here L1 and 1 is also the formula for F D F2. And for the second nodal punch, L2 P2 that's equals to L2 N2. We know the formula for L2 P2. It is minus F3 divided by F1. For L2 N2 is equal to minus F3 divided by F1. So in this video, I uh, explained you how to find the L1 P1 that is alpha, which is on the right side, you get the positive sign, P2, which is on the left side of the lens L2, the L2 P2 is equals to minus F D divided by F1. And here L1 F1 is equal to minus F1 minus D by F2, L2 F2 is equals to First to sign F1 minus D by F1 and position of the first and second nodal points as usual uh, to write the same formula for the position of the first and the second principal points. The thing is you have to replace P1 by N1. L1 is equal to T by F2 minus F T by F1. So remember all this formula. Thanks for watching.